fate. Three hundred horses locked inside. He found out that death was his soulmate. He couldn't slow down if he tried. Leadfoot going into the turn. Leadfoot was his claim to fame. They say he was kin to the devil. Leadfoot was his name. Just a bag of tricks. Speed is just a laughing face. Liquor and driving just don't mix. A killer was there. Hey, that race. Leadfoot going into the turf. Leadfoot was his claim to fame. They say he was kin to the devil. Leadfoot was his name. Straightaways neck and neck. Ten laps later, they were doing well. In the final turn, they're wrecked. He dropped the pedal and drove like hell. Leadfoot going into the turn. Leadfoot was his claim to fame. They say he was kin to the devil. Leadfoot was his name. Fire got their place, gear and rod and tired wheel. When they went to pick up the pieces, all they found was bluff and steel. Leadfoot went into the turn. Leadfoot was his claim to fame. They say he was kin to the devil. and you realize this is highly irregular. My son's plane just got in this afternoon. He couldn't get here in time for the qualifying. All right, let's get it over with. Ready, Mr. Wilson? Especially to this track. Yeah, and in the car that killed Billy Johnson. Lousy lead foot. What are we going to see, Dad? In the morning, baby. I want you and Dad together again. It's a long time since we've been a family. okay in the morning. Thank you. Thank you, Lou. Thank you for helping him come back. You must have a special magic in you. I'm his friend. Too bad his father didn't treat him that way. Let's hope this works. Let's hope so, Mrs. Wilson. <laughs> Well, she's not a bad car after all. You could be going first class in the Cerati tomorrow. Why are you driving Dad's old car? We're old friends again. You're not afraid anymore. It was like a bad dream. It happened to someone else. 
We'll see your father at the track tomorrow. He's going to have to meet me halfway, Mom. He will. We'll see you two back at the house. Bye. I have the feeling I shouldn't have gotten on that plane with you at Milan. Well, I would have preferred a small yacht. Your mother, she keeps looking at me like a bride. She sees the love light in your eyes, Liz. You know I didn't want that. Give me time, Liz. Maybe you'll change your mind. You know, I'm a very persuasive guy. I know. Come on, we're going to be late for dinner. on the track. Here's the latest weather report. Raining now in San Francisco and it's moving south. But I think we'll make it through the day here at Monterey. Here he is on the track, the winner of this big race with his victory lap. Everything all right? Houston. He qualified. It's official. Good luck. Thanks a lot, sis. In the main event next, we have an official, the driver of the D Jack special for the Wilson Cerati Distributing Company will be none other than Rob Wilson. Now, Rob, you might recall, quit racing three seasons ago after he was involved in a fatal crash on this very track. Rob made a terrific comeback in Europe last month, winning the Milan Classic. Welcome back to American Racing, Rob. Where's your mother? Nothing. Maybe a little tense. That'll never come to me. Hello, Harry. Hello, Alice. Joni. Hello, Dad. Hi, Greg. Hi, Francis. Hello, Mrs. Wilson. I can't shake hands, beautiful. So you come here and kiss me. Hi, kid. Hi, Greg. Rob's waiting to see you. Alice, there's nothing I could say to him that, he, that he'd listen to. Oh, Daddy, that's not fair. He's made a new start winning at Milan. Can't you be proud of him? Winning isn't new to Rob. Have you forgotten he also won the day Billy Johnson was killed? Why do you keep blaming him for what happened? Please, Harry. You never wanted him in racing. Why did you bring him back? He can't walk away from it on his own until he pleases you on your terms. He doesn't have to please me. Not anymore. But he does. He's racing for you in the car you built for him. He'll win for you. Not for me. It's no use. He doesn't love racing. And that's what I wanted just as much as the winning. With all his gold cups, I'd give a dozen robs for one Greg Morgan. Now, here's a boy who took a scrap heap and created a fine precision machine. He did it all himself, too. I gave Rob a fine car, and it was just like a loaded gun in the hands of, a, of an angry kid. You loaded the gun, Harry. You made him angry. Believe me, Rob doesn't want to be angry anymore. Neither do I. All right, uh, I'll see him after the race. I'll be with you in a minute, Mom. I want to see Greg. Meet me at the coffee stand. See you later, Harry. The course is open now. Spectators may now cross the track. I'm sorry, Greg. I know you didn't want to hear family talk. I'm sorry, too. One thing, Joni, please tell your mother I'm not trying to replace Rob or make Harry think I'm better than he is. She knows. Call me after the race. Sure. Okay, Greg? 
Maybe we can all get together tonight. This may come as a shock to you, Joni, but I know how to use the telephone, too. <laughs> I like you, too, kid. See you. Keep dialing that phone, boy. She'll get your signal. All I get is a busy signal waiting for her to get off your line. Greg, if Rob gives you any trouble, I want you to pull in. Don't take any chances. I'll take his exhaust pipes for a while and, and feel them out. How do you want to feel it? When he hits your broadside in the turn? Look, I never drove a race with Rob, and I've never seen him lead footed through when anyone was in the way. I don't buy his reputation. I'm sorry to say it, but it's true. I know how you feel, Harry, but until Rob proves it otherwise, Rob and Billy Johnson just had an accident. That's all. Greg, listen to me. My eyes don't lie. It's all photographed right up in here, and it keeps reeling through my head. Don't you think I'd like to change it? Don't you think I'd like to forget it? Here, let me show you. Coming into that narrow turn, number five, Farrell and Johnson were in the lead. Johnson on the outside. Rob was right on Billy's tail. There wasn't room enough for the three of them, but Rob lead-footed it right through before that narrow turn bottled up. He never let up. Billy had only one place to go, or he'd have killed both of them. He went off the cliff. You better watch yourself, Greg. Drivers in the main event, report to the judges stand for the driver's meeting. Remember to check the mixture. It was still too late. you would meet me at the airport. I guess I knew you wouldn't, but I waited for you. You sent the cable too late. You would have come? Two years ago. A year ago. You mean the cable came on time, but too late. A moment ago, I started to run toward you. It was like a reflex, but I managed to stop myself. And now, I'm going to walk the other way. Wait, Greg. If you never let me see you again, at least I want you to know I've never forgiven myself. I don't believe you. It was a big hurt, Liz. Does it matter that I can't trust you? I could hope. In time, you might. Time. I want to run past it and not go back. I race against it. I'll wait. Any time, any place. I'll be seeing you, Liz. Okay, he's back to 
his brother Kit Morgan have done it again. Number 70, old Buggy the Bolts. The car these brothers built in their own backyard. The fastest drivers and cars of Europe and America. At Riverside, California. Congratulations. Thanks, Rod. Hey, Rod, your old man's waiting for you by your pit. I came here to see him. Well, I'll go tell him. It's funny. We're only supposed to meet each other halfway. I've been wanting to meet you, Rob. My father didn't paint the picture too black. 25 laps on that track told me much more about you than he could. You're better behind the wheel than I am. The cars made the difference. I don't get so noble. You put a crab on my back and I didn't pull any punches when you finally showed me your tailpipes. You could have gotten mean in Leftfoot Alley. Holding back wasn't easy for you. Oh, bucket of boat scared me too much. What have you got under this hood? My blood and Harry's spare parts. Terrific race, Greg. Thanks. Good to see you, son. It's good to be home, Dad. Let's go see Mom. Now, wait a minute. I want to talk to you. We're ready to start all over again. We'll start a new lap chart for the two of us. I don't want to race you again, Dad. You know what I mean, on the same team, the way I always wanted it to be. Now, what do you say? We'll talk about it later. Later? What do you mean, later? All right, Dad. Can I say something to you without hurting your feelings? I mean... Well, I think it's the reason we were always fighting with each other. There's no point in digging up the past. Like I said, a new lap chart for the two of us. Please, Dad, it's important. All right, Rob. You love racing, don't you? Laguna Seca, Sebring, the Grand Prix. I know they're magic words to you. It's my whole life. Well, that's the trouble, Dad. It isn't mine. I just don't fit into it. What do you mean you don't fit in? I saw you drive today. Was your talent you, a contract driver for the Cerati Company, the, the guy that just won at Milan? <laughs> I tried to convince myself I wasn't proud of you for that. What do you mean you don't fit in? I'm glad you were proud. That Cerati you drove in Europe, that's a good car, isn't it? None better. Well, I've got a real surprise for you. I want you to quit Cerati. I was going to. Good. Because you're going to beat the world in the car that Greg and I have been building. You're going to drive it next week in the Grand Prix. You just don't understand, do you, Dad? I've been trying to tell you I don't fit into it because I... Because I... I hate racing! Sorry. I'm glad you want me. Well, do you have to be hurt? Kids are supposed to love cars. I couldn't wait to give you one, to build them with you. And you, you hate them. It's just like hating me. Why do you have to take everything that way? Isn't it enough I tried? I tried so hard, I don't know anything but cars. I gave you everything. You did it all for yourself. I did. 
did it all for you. Did you ever give me the right to be myself? And what are you? I guess I'm just somebody who hates you. happens. It was like old home week. He rolled right over me. You know the way he does. The way that squeezes your guts out so you can't fight back. But why, Rob? Why? He doesn't want to know me if I quit racing. He just doesn't want to know me. All right, Rob. It's his loss. Mom, I know I'm to blame for you and Dad. Stop it, Rob. I don't want him this way, and I can't change him either. Well, it's over. No, it isn't. I'm not gonna let him off so easily. I'm gonna make him feel the way he makes me feel. I'm gonna hurt him. He's already been hurt. All he has left are his cars. What did he ever have? Cars were his whole life. At least you can quit racing now. No. no, I can't. What do you mean? I'm gonna smash him the way he smashed me. And it's gonna be where it hurts him most. On the track. Well, don't expect me to watch it. I never want to see you in a car again. seen Rob Wilson? Mm, nothing but his picture. Just gave him back his old place of honor today. Are you expecting him? I'll wait for him. Good. Make yourself comfortable. They're running some old films of the Miller Miglia in there. The line almost at the top. The Bristol's finish in line ahead, and they are followed by a pair of Porsches, one of which finished fourth. A truly magnificent performance. And there goes the winner, number six, Jaguar. Hawthorne tours slowly back to the pit and the applause that is the winner's due. Now the trappings of victory, the bouquet, the champagne, the clicking of camera shutters, the applause of the milling crowd. To the drivers, Mike Hawthorne and Ivor Buren, our congratulations. To Lockheed England, too, architect of victory, and his team of mechanics, willing and hard-working. Fathers and Fays will finish third with their privately owned and entered Jaguar in this greatest and toughest of all measurements. A race furthermore, one at an all-time record speed of 107.07 miles an hour. And this would be thought that this year it has been easy. And you Can I help you? I think you've got something special. Sorry, we can't mix that at the bar. I'll take mine straight. Coke on the rocks. Old fashioned. Coke. Old fashioned. Milk for the boy. Make that cream. Bring me a double brandy and cream to cocoa and you can get me an Alexander. I'll bring you a safety belt. <laughs> the kid's wild about me. He's got to fight it. Pretty good fighter. Honestly, Kit, what you need is a good, steady girl. I accept. A misty morning, the smell of rain, a time of waiting all alone to catch a plane, even voices in the crowd seem to sound like Pardon me, madam. Do you know Liz Craig? Yes. Well, ask her to join us. She's probably waiting for Rob. Couldn't be. All right. A fleeting moment. A chance to.
to speak the slightest touch of you that simply makes me weak now again here I go I must be seeing things through these empty crowded years here you the laughter, why the tears, what's the meaning without you through the years, suddenly you are here, very dear to me, standing near to stop. In a moment, my heart may dance, for any fool can see, there's still a second chance. Yet I know, even so, I must be dreaming things through the empty crowded years here you are I want to believe you aren't you waiting for Rod it isn't anything that would stop you from believing in me why did you turn away there were too many questions in your eyes. Suppose I tell you about the last three years. Could I answer them all? No. Tell me about you and Rob. He needs me. What does that mean to you? Afraid for him. I won't share you with him. A week. Just a week. I promised his mother I'd try. She doesn't want him to race in the Grand Prix. Hi, Liz. Your drink's getting warm. You too antisocial? Or were you about to play the chorus of all Lang Syne? Why not? Bit. To old acquaintances, who almost made the housing development scene, might make it yet. What's the matter? I say something wrong? No. Oh. No. Congratulations. I hope they make it. How about a drink, Rob? Sure. Bourbon, straight. We just saw some pictures of the Miller Miller, Rob. What was it like driving an endurance race through the rain? I, I like it when the asphalt's wet, but... It's hard to see. Your eyes burn like a sty. You have to strain. Something got in the way. Jolted me. That must have been Pinata spinning out. You sure were lucky in Milan. Yeah, when them all, you noticed today? What happened? He isn't feeling well. I think I know why. It kind of shocked me too. You and Liz.
Can I get you something? Go away, Liz. You've done enough. You knew he existed. I never lied to you. But he didn't have a name. He was just a shadow between us. I'm sorry you discovered him this way. He wants you back? If I can prove myself to him. I hope you fail, Liz. I may lose Greg if I care too much what happens to you. But I do care. Why should you? I don't know myself that well to give a simple answer. I just do. So you care? So what should I do about it? Give up trying to beat your father. Uh -uh. Walk away. No, no. And do it fair. Stay with me till I do. in Europe. My boy can do it. Greg? Of course, Greg. Where's the stopwatch? I'll get it. Dad, I didn't come down here to, to meddle, but you just don't know what you've done. Oh, not you too, Joni. Now, don't you turn against me. I think you'd better know it. Rob is going to drive against you in the Grand Prix. He won't stop until he beats you. You'll never catch us. Try and understand. It's his way of beating you up. You made him so angry. Then let him fight me like a man. I'm sorry for both of you. like the Cerati. Ninety-four point two. I could feel it. I don't like his being here. Anybody can run a test track and anybody can leave. How many squirrels in that mess? Enough to beat any mousetrap, uh... Sunny boy can put together. Hello, Greg. Hello, Liz. Liz, I'd like you to meet my father. How do you do, Mr. Wilson? Hello, Liz. Uh... 
What's this displacement? Over 400 cubic inches. What are you building, a race car or a tractor? Ever heard of a gearbox? Gearbox my foot. Those phony plants the Europeans put in have to have an auxiliary to run the gearbox. What do you got? Five horsepower and uh, 35 speeds forward? Huh. The great American racing car. Harry Wilson's dream of glory. Suppose we see if this is it right now. Scared? Okay, Greg. Back off, Harry. Kit and I didn't build the 110 if you and Rob to club each other with. You built it for me. Just change his name to Rob and I'll even let him use my toothbrush. I built the 110 with your tools and your money. You give me more than I can ask for. More than I can take. Drive the 110 for me. I'll drive it at the Grand Prix. It's now or never. You drive it yourself, Harry. Kit, you wanted to drive. Come on, Leadfoot. You can choke on my exhaust. No. No punk's gonna beat up an old man in front of me. Buck, I'll drive. My turn, remember? Don't feel too bad, Greg. This'll keep you company for a while till I get back. somebody you can't move. Back down, boy. You're gonna run head on into your grave. Stop it, Kit. Face it, Johnny. He's sick. He should go where he can't hurt anybody. She wasn't driving. She didn't deserve that. Well, tell her I was wrong and give her your shoulder. She'll need it. Those are expensive noises. Kip blew the rear end when he spun out. I think he tore the drive shaft off at the rear spline. You designed the shaft for a lot more torque. Not enough for that kind of a spin out. Too much strain for that type of a spline. Will you fix it for me, Greg? 
I meant this to make a name for myself, Harry. Do I drive in the Grand Prix tomorrow? Now let's change from a 10 to a 16 spline. And relocate the radius arms in a wider position. Should take a little more lateral stress that way. Yeah. Get me the bar stock. It's the closest we've got. I'll turn around the lathe and you can mill cut new splines in the end. Yep. A little sugar, Doctor? Three scoops to celebrate this momentous occasion. Little lady, we have just given birth to a well-splined chest. How's the father doing? You mistake me, madam. I am just a poor relation. Greg smokes and paces the floor in the ante room, relocating his radius arms to receive his child. <laughs> Thanks for helping me today, kid. I've waited a long time for you to let me help you, Joni. You remember in the ninth grade when I had to learn that love poem and I couldn't, you helped me. I remember. You know, you were the only girl in the ninth grade I ever said it to. Did I ever tell you that? No, because you recited it to Betsy Wentworth in the locker room. I caught you doing it and I cried. Hey, that was only a passing thing with her. You know, a, a fling. Whim. Thanks, guys. You were terrific. Yeah. But will it work? Funny boy. That is what makes racing. <laughs> Wash up, everybody. Tonight I'm buying. <laughs> <laughs> there a house limit on this guy? Yeah, let him enjoy himself. He just lost his good standing here. Hit me. In your face? Hit me! Come on, hit me. It won't hurt. Haven't you had enough already? You see those loving cups? Fill them all up! Why don't you just lie under the tap? I'll struggle with the vessel, my lady. I'm sure you will. Make it on your own power? Nobody plays music the way you do, baby. More jazz? No, no. What I want now is listening with heart. You know the one I mean. Excuse us, everybody. I think we'll be on our way. No, sit down. Sit down. Get out of the way, Rob. Sit down. <laughs> I, I was just looking for something I lost. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's my father. 
You are my father, aren't you? You're not being funny, Rob. I lost you too, didn't I, Liz? <laughs> that was our song, don't you remember? Only you never listened. Go home, Rob. Sleep it off. Come on, Dan. No, uh, you go on ahead. Where did everybody go? What's the matter? This guy bothering you? He's what's left of my son. Well, you just bought him five more drinks. Not buying me anymore? You've already cost me my home and my wife. <laughs> Money, love, and what else is there? Power? You wanted to quit racing. You wanted me to like the idea. Well, I'm telling you right now, I like it. Uh -uh. One more race. I've got one more race in me. You'll never beat me. Sorry if I woke you up. I just had to see you. It's late, Rob. You can see me tomorrow. Well, what's the matter? Is your sister's family back? No. Well, can I come in? What's the matter, Rob? You're shaking all over. Liz, Liz, I need your help. I don't know. I, I've never felt like this before. Like I'm falling and falling. I'm scared, Liz. Call a doctor, Rob. He'll give you something to calm you down. I need somebody to hold on to. Let go, Rob. Let go. Get a hold of yourself. Get out of here, Rob. You lousy tramp! Stop it, stop! He can't help himself. Why not? Help yourself, you get a psychiatrist. Nothing's wrong with me. Why do you have to lean on Liz or beat Harry? Shut up, I'm warning you. When something gets in your crawl like today, all you know how to do is lead foot a big piece of machinery at it. You're asking for it, Morgan. You and my old man. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, you remember. I won't just push you or spin you out. I'll be gunning for you from the second you get behind that wheel. I'll tell you, Morgan. I just hope you wake up in time. 300 horses under your foot won't change me, or Harry, or the world. You better find out it's the horsepower inside a man that really counts. You better back down. No. He'll mean it tomorrow, too. I'll have to chance that. Why? 
You know where I came from, Liz. Nothing came easy. I had to starve a car together in a rotten garage when Rob was tooling up and down the streets in Harry's custom jobs. You yourself left me for the things I couldn't buy. Everything I've been working for depends on whether I race tomorrow. people here at Riverside, California. And they're waiting for the big one, the best cars from all over the world. The Scarabs, Maseratis, Mercedes, and Ferraris. A big turnout also of those Jags. But hopes are high that an American car can walk off with top honors. Among them, the Harry Wilson number 110 special. Then the European favorite, the Cerati number 111. Best drivers in the world are here, Bill Hill and Richie Ginther with a 4.5 liter Ferrari. This is the first time a race of such significance has been run in the United States. Change your mind, Mom? No. I thought you said you weren't going to watch me race again. I won't. What's that supposed to mean? You're not in the race. I'm pulling the Cerati out. I won't let you. I own the car. It's my distributing company. But I made you a promise. This is my last race. I came back from Europe for you. I did everything you asked. I kept my word. All right, Rob. I won't force you out. But I beg oh, you... please, Rob! Believe me. I'll never race again. I can't protect you anymore. Every adult has to decide what he really wants. I've made my choice. Good luck with yours. I have to talk to you, Greg. You weren't supposed to be here today, Liz. I didn't want you to come. I couldn't let you go through with it, Greg. I had to tell Harry. You better get out of there. I'm not sorry, Greg. Both you and Kit checked out the qualifying run. Kit's gonna drive this race. No! Hey, Rob threatened you, not Kit. Look, it's my race, I'll take my chances. You're out, Greg. I'll give you the black flag, you'll be disqualified. Wish me luck. All drivers to the starting line for the main event. Okay, now look. You'll be in the front position. Rob's back in the pack. Move out as fast as you can, and stay out in front. I got you. It's a tremendous spectacle. The roar is deafening here at the start of the Grand Prix. Dangerous. 
Lewis has turned. him to make a pit stop. No! Maybe you're willing to risk my brother's life for your lousy dreams. Well, I'm not. You know, Rob didn't kill Billy Johnson. You did! On some of these turns, they're bunching up two and three abreast as they head into the turn. <laughs> Past the judges' stand once again. Rob Wilson and Wilson's worked his way from almost the very last row at the start, doing a great driving job. A tremendous duel between three great drivers developing here as they battle it out lap after lap in this main event. A long way to go yet. I'm sorry, Alice. It's all my fault. Whatever we did to Rob, Harry, he'll have to undo it himself. I'll find some way to make it up to him. Rob Wilson, car number 111, pulling up behind. Number 110, driven by Greg Morgan. Morgan is pretty hard to catch. Wilson is trying everything to get by him. He's pushing him to beat the band. Turn number. 
number seven, Red Wing Queen, back behind the hay be myself and what are you and what are you i'll never race again he's sick you should go where he can't hurt anybody he's what's left of my son you are my father aren't you you'll never be you'll never be i need somebody to hold on to let go rob let go if you want to help yourself you get a psychiatrist i'll kill you morgan i just hope you wake up in time i just hope you wake up in time I just hope you wake up in time.
the track. Taking you home, son. <laughs> 